Family friendly controls, or as Google Wi-Fi calls it, family Wi-Fi, allows you as a parent to regulate how and when wireless access to the internet becomes available in your home. This feature allows you to pause Wi-Fi access to specific devices, disable Wi-Fi at certain times of the day, or block access to internet content you have deemed your children are not ready to see yet. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you set up family-friendly controls and how these options work in Google Wi-Fi. In order to enable Google Wi-Fi's family-friendly controls, we need to first open the Google Wi-Fi app. From within the Google Wi-Fi app, we need to select the Shortcuts and Settings tab. In the Settings section, we then need to select the option Family Wi-Fi. As this is the first time that we've accessed Family Wi-Fi, we're presented with a short setup wizard. This will assist us in enabling family-friendly controls. Let's select Setup. First, we need to create a label. A label allows us to group together several devices so that we can monitor or pause internet usage. Let's select Create. We now need to create a meaningful label in this example, I'm going to create a label called Kids. When I select Next, I can choose which devices I wish to group under the Kids label. In this example, I'm going to select the Family Computer, the iPad, and the Family Room TV. Selecting Next will save the label Kids and take us to a screen that will allow us to create additional labels. For example, you might need to create additional labels for each child in your family so that you can give them different internet privileges and rights. However, for this example, we are simply going to click Continue. We can now choose to disable or enable restrictions to adult content. This feature uses Google's Safe Search to automatically block websites with adult content and is enabled by default. However, as a parent, you should keep in mind that no adult content filtering system is 100% reliable, so there is the possibility that some adult content will not be filtered by Google Safe Search. Let's select Next to save the settings for the label Kids. We can now set up schedules to when the internet will be paused for any devices saved under the label Kids. By default, you'll be given two suggested schedule headings and an option to create your own. For this example, we're going to select Kids Bedtime. You are now presented with a start and end time for the schedule. Using a 24 hour clock, we will set when the internet will be paused for all devices stored under the label Kids. For this example, we'll be setting bedtime from 7.30 at night until 6am in the morning. We now need to set when the time schedule will be repeated. We can choose all week, just on school nights, weekdays, weekends or custom. For this example, I'll choose all week. Selecting next, we'll save the schedule and we'll be informed that Kids Bedtime will pause the internet for all devices under the label Kids. Selecting Continue displays the Family Wi-Fi page. Within the Family Wi-Fi page, you are shown any labels that you've created, which devices are currently paused, any schedules that you've created, and if site blocking is enabled or disabled. If you want to create a new label, you simply select the new label icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The label wizard will be displayed and you just follow the on-screen instructions to build out your new label. However, if you need to add or adjust an existing label schedule, you simply select the schedule you wish to change. A list of the schedules for that label will be displayed. By selecting one of the listed schedules, you can adjust that schedule. If you need to create an additional schedule for a label, you simply select the new schedule icon. A schedule wizard will now be displayed and we simply follow the on-screen instructions. Let's create a homework schedule. First we need to select a label that will be associated with the schedule that we are creating. 
In this example, we'll be selecting kids. We now need to define the time period when the internet will be off within this schedule. For this example, any device associated with the label kids will not be able to connect to the internet between 3.30 and 5 p.m. With our schedules now set, we simply need to click Next. We now need to select which days the homework schedule will be enabled on. For this example, we will choose School Nights. With our schedules set and our labels created, Google Wi-Fi will now enforce these rules for any devices that have been associated with a specific label. For any devices that have not been labelled in Google Wi-Fi, they will have full internet access. Let's return to the Shortcuts and Settings page. With Family Wi-Fi now enabled, a new Kids Pause option will become available. As this icon suggests, this option allows parents to pause access to the internet for all devices in the label Kids, and is also a handy tool for ensuring children can be given a timeout from being online. When we select the pause icon, all devices under the label Kids are prevented from accessing the internet via Google Wi-Fi. We have the option to select how long the internet will be paused for, 1 hour, 2 hours, 4 hours, until morning or custom time. If set, the pause period is highlighted here. We can also manually unpause a device within the kids group. In this example, I'm going to unpause the family room TV while leaving the iPad and iMac paused. To remove the pause from all devices in the kids label, we simply select the large pause icon. Let's again pause all devices under the label Kids. And now return to the shortcuts and settings screen. You can see that when a label is paused, the pause icon turns purple. If I select the Kids icon again, you can see that the pause function becomes disabled. With pause now disabled, if I return to Shortcuts and Settings, you can see that the pause icon is greyed out. This signifies that pause has been disabled for the kids label. So to recap, in this video we've taken a look at setting up family Wi-Fi. We've created a label which we can use to schedule when devices are allowed to connect to the internet and we've also taken a look at the pause Wi-Fi function built into Google Wi-Fi.